Hello everyone, this is Danny from creatingawebstore.com and in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to blend two images together. This is especially useful with images that look very uh, similar, for example images that have similar backgrounds because blending is a lot easier than actually having to remove the background and it's also a lot quicker. So what I'll do is I'll first start by actually unlocking this layer since my layer is locked so simply click it two times to unlock it now I'm going to make this image wider because it's not wide enough to fit in another person so I'll go to image and canvas size and I'll change inches to percent and I'm only going to change the width to 200 percent and I'm not really too worried about how wide it's going to be I'm not actually worried if it's going to be too wide because I can always crop the image you would actually worry more about it being too narrow so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the left arrow here so that I can preserve the left side and only make it wider on the right side and I'll click on OK. And now I'll go to the image with my female model and I'll simply select the rectangular marquee tool and I'll simply select the image and I'll go to edit and copy and I'll go back to my image with the male model in it and I'll go to edit and paste. And now I'm simply going to position the model up here. Don't worry about the exact positioning because you can always change this. And since my image is smaller than this one I'm going to go to edit, transform and scale and now I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard while I drag. Holding down the shift key actually preserves the aspect ratio and now when I'm happy I'm simply going to let go of both the mouse button and my shift key and I'm simply going to double click on the image for the changes to take effect and now what I'll do is I'm actually going to go to my brush tool here and I'm actually going to choose this soft round brush here and I'm going to choose a brush size that I'm comfortable with I can go a bit higher I'll go to 40 pixels and now what I'll do is I'll choose my airbrush tool here and now what I'll do is I'll actually mask the female by simply selecting the layer and then going to my mask icon here and now what I'll do is I'll simply choose black paint for my brush because anything that I paint in black will become transparent. So I'll change this color to black which is 0000000. 000 000 000 000. That's six zeros and I'll click on OK. And now I'll simply start painting. And my brush size is a little small so I'll simply make it larger like so and I'll simply paint over this area here and once I get closer to the female I'm actually going to lower the opacity of my brush and don't worry about this area because I'm actually going to bring this image closer a bit note that if you ever make a mistake you simply change your paint color to white which is F F F F F which is six F's and simply paint over the area that you'd like to restore so now I'm going to go to the select tool here and I'm simply going to bring my female model closer and now I'll go back to my brush tool and I'll simply lower the opacity to say 40 percent you can play around with this you can try 50 percent let's try 50 and see what happens and I'm going to change my paint again back to black and I'm simply going to paint over this area like so And now what I'll do here is I'll raise the opacity level a bit so that it blends even better. So I'll simply choose let's say uh, 90% and I'll simply paint over like so.
and I'll just bring my female model a bit closer like so and I'll choose back to my paintbrush like so and since I went in a little too far here on the arm I'm going to zoom in a bit and I'm going to lower my brush size and I'm going to choose white paint once more and I will simply paint over the arm here and now I'm going to zoom out a bit and now that I can see certain areas of the image a bit better I'm going to fix these areas like so and I'm simply going to go back to my black paint and I'm simply going to fix some other areas around here like so and now all we need to do is crop the image like so and I'll even get closer here like so and now we have a beautifully blended image so thanks for watching stay tuned for more videos and also be sure to check out creatingawebstore.com